Other interesting cultural news, not a single student can do math at grade level in over 50 schools in Illinois. Now this comes to us thanks to Marina Medvin over on X Twitter. And she says, quote, not a single student can do math at grade level in 53 Illinois schools. Unquote. Which, how could that be? I mean, they spend some of the most per student in this whole country. And the teacher unions are, I mean, they're they're always working hard and, you know, trying to help your kids have the best outcome and doing what's best for your children. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely not. Statistically, no. And they also have 32-year low for ACT scores. And yet, teachers unions say they, it's the only instance where you can fail consistently and you just complain and get more money. Which, not all the time, but many times is the public sector. Now, she actually lists out the schools and, spoiler alert, City of Chicago is on there. One, two, three, four, five. How many is that? A majority of the time. And they're spending up to $20,000 per student and getting such abysmal results. One of these, what's, what's the top school? One school is spending $56,000 per student. I mean, they're spending the most per student, or some of the most per student in the whole U.S., and yet they have the worst results. And this went viral, as you might say. You got 2.9 million likes, or rather, million views, 16,000 likes. Now, again, I have many speaking ineptitudes. If you click the subscribe button, however, I believe it may assist. When it first came out of the show, a lot of speaking too fast, you know, mispronouncing words, stumbling over myself more than usual. And yet, the more subscribers I've gained, the better my speaking has become. Now, granted, some might say it's just a modicum of improvement, but nevertheless, an improvement never is still there. So if you click that button again, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, again, got 2.9 million views and 16,000 likes. And going to the comments, Marina responded saying, quote, as state spending per student goes up in Illinois, student performance goes down. Why is that? And it looks like she has a chart. It says Illinois has the highest growth rate per in pre-K to 12 per student spending among its neighbors. Cumulative percentage growth in per student pre K through 12 education spending, federal, state, and local by state. Illinois from 2007 to 2019 up 70%. You have Kentucky increased 36%. Iowa went up 36%. MD 31%. Michigan 29%. Wisconsin 23%. Indiana 16%. And her chart got 1.2 thousand likes. Which, yeah. The ultimate example of union ineptitudes. Game paid more to perform less. Now, Paul Zazupa is one of the first comments, and he says, quote, math is right supremacy. That's the way the left says, so it's got to be true. I quote, getting 229 likes, and and you might think that sounds crazy, but it has been said by some teachers and some union members. There have also some, been some people who claim being on time is a white thing, which, no, that uh, that's ridiculous. Being on time is a human thing. That, it has nothing to do with race and yet some people are saying that and politically speaking those people are i would call them leftists or very far left i have some people who are left side of the political aisle they don't agree with that they agree with my sentiment that that's a racist thing to say now going to other comments you have marina medvin saying quote most of the problematic schools are in chicago and cooking 815 likes which yep amy lou who says quote i bet they know all about the gender identity i'm cooking 513 likes Let's see here. Stop anti-Semitism said, quote, but did they pass a ceasefire resolution in Chicago? I'm getting 544 likes. Let's see here. Eight Bart me? Let's see. This is a little bit of an anecdotal experience, a little bit of a short story that they come from them, but it sounds interesting. This person says, quote, I again this is from dollar sign eight Bart me. They said, quote, I personally volunteered at Traywin Elementary about 10 years ago, most crime remnant area of Peoria, Illinois. Had a great principal who came and was turning things around. There was really hope by the teachers in school. Then a new superintendent came in and institutionalized, institutioned early CRT and DEI and restored justice ideals and got rid of the principal. Quote, he was white, she was not. And the school relapsed into total failure factory. I knew some teachers there. They were also white and were so hounded by the superintendent and her posse that one almost had a nervous breakdown and finally left. This story I am telling you here, I'm not recounting. Sorry, unquote. Let me reset that last paragraph. This story I'm telling you here, I am not recounting to be 
provocative. I'm sharing it with you because it is true. I was there. Take it. Take from it as you will, unquote. And I got 342 likes. Scrolling down a couple more here. Woke Rasperian says, quote, WTF is Williams Medical Prep High School. They spent 45K per student and no one can pass math tests. Unquote, getting 527 likes. Regan McFadden says, quote, but hey, they know their pronouns. Well, uh, what do you call it? Unquote. But they also use the eye roll emoji. They got 143 likes. Ron Stevenson says, uh, Sen says, quote, not to worry. I'm sure the standards will be lowered to accommodate that. Unquote, getting 166 likes, which knowing government entities, yeah, just like the U.S. military, they've been lowering the standards more and more. And yet their recruitment goals also keep failing, even with an increasing sample size by decreasing the bar and lowering the bar lower and lower and lower. Undead FOIA 3.0 says, quote, so you're saying we need to give more money to Ukraine, unquote, getting 92 likes. We did give them 200 billion between physical you know, cash as well as in materials, including medical and weaponry, but some say it's just not enough. And yet they say they're bringing up the money issue. I don't think it's a money issue. It's a culture issue. It's a teacher issue. It's an issue of the culture of these teachers. What do they care most about? I don't think it's zeros and ones. The results aren't showing that. You also bring it to the parents into the equation as well. Are they making sure the students are actually doing their homework? Are they studying? Are they paying attention in school? There are many variables to this situation. However, given the teachers get paid more and more and more, why are we paying them more and more and more to perform less and less and less? Again, the parents absolutely play a role, and yet these teachers seem to be getting paid more to do worse. We'll do one or two more comments. Maybe there's a contrarian comment in here. There has to be at least one, right? Let's see here. Uh... Ghost says, quote, this is Brandon Johnson's response to the crisis. And then this from the Daily Mail online, they say, quote, Chicago's progressive mayor Brandon Johnson announced plans to ax Windy's, Windy City's high achieving selective enrollment high schools to boost equity despite promising not to do during election campaign. Unquote. Getting 82 likes. Oh, we find a contrarian statement. Chris Na Nod Nadima? Says, quote, those teachers need raises. Some of them only make 100K, unquote. I got 33 likes. I can't tell if he's joking or not. Well, let's click in the comment section or see. Some people do respond to him. Maybe he clarifies. Bob says, quote, teachers should make more than that, but they should be properly evaluated. Chris Nolan responds saying 20% of teachers are decent and could definitely make more if we finally abolish public schools. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious when I was a child growing up in the Midwest. Some of the teachers went on strike because they were only making $120,000 in the 90s. For a job where you get multiple months of vacation. It's, as well as a pension in some cases too. It's a pretty sweet gig for a lot of people. And again, it is an important role, don't get me wrong. But it should also be performance. It should have some performance-based pay, some might say. We'll do a couple more comments here. Over, so, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if there's any contrarian statements. I mean, that's why they seem to just keep agreeing. Uh, David Chase says, quote, no one wants to blame the teachers. It's always the curriculum or funding to, but, or funding to blame by unions. Why are other school districts able to reach, able to teach the children grade level math using the same curriculum? I'm getting two likes. Let's see here. Yeah, so overwhelming agreement. Let's see here. A lot of people say, oh, here's another popular one that's got six, no, 56 likes. And this comes from Grumpy and it's a juxtaposition of two pictures. It says teachers back then and it looks like the classic, you know, as I believe they call them now, the traditional wife or trad wife. I believe that is trying to get once in a while. And you see a nice picture of grandma dressed up, you're very respectful. They, the caption is teachers when I was a kid. And then the new caption is teachers now, and you know, they have short purple hair. And yeah, they look very differently. And they have identity flags all over themselves, which again, when I was a kid, teachers never talked about politics for the most part. There's one or two bad eggs, but overall they try seem to be more apolitical. Maybe it's rose tinted glasses, or maybe it's just nostalgia, but let me know in the comments. Do you think, in your experience with public schools, 
have they gotten, I mean, was it divided and more political back then? Were your classmates failing? I mean, I mean, I'd be fascinated to hear, as always, what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in again. I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February. So if you click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback. And sharing also does help with the magical YouTube algorithm. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe. Fight the good fight.